Now on BBC World News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. Clean up your act, it's Transport Day at COP26. We focus on China, which is the world's largest car market and the planet's biggest polluter. Excitement builds in New York as electric truck maker Rivian revs up its engine ahead of its stock market debut. We take a look at what all the fuss is about. You're very welcome. This is World Business Report and I'm Sally Bundock. And we start with COP26 because, as we've mentioned, today is Transport Day. That will dominate the discussions in Glasgow. A lot of the focus will be on China. It's the world's biggest car market and also the world's largest polluter. President Xi Jinping has come under criticism for not attending the conference in person. And this is why, because China's greenhouse gas emissions rose above those of all developed nations combined in 2019. But this is the promise from uh, President Xi to reach net zero by 2060. But that will be uh, will require quite a lot of major changes in China, just in the way companies operate, as well as a lot more. China is the market leader in both electric vehicle and battery technology uh, manufacturing. Electric vehicle sales are forecast to more than double to 3 million units this year alone. That's according to China's Association of Automobile Manufacturers. I talked to our correspondent based in Shanghai, Robin Brand, to find out how the summit is being covered in China. <laughs> 